parts. Like I bring them. Like I see. Save some parts. You have to wait till he goes after her. Not really. Humans have escaped this widowing for far too long. Not about strength and survival. It's about actual measure of evolutionary success is how many of their is of the species. So it's number. Already? No. Clearly, you don't do your research, Mister. Now I go after the rock. If you're Shiva, it's a little harder. I swear, it's damn near impossible. Perhaps, but there's a reason they're like that. Ah, oh, crap. Come on, shit. This is for Resident Evil 1. Just hold on. What the fuck? Did I fuck it up? Come on, damn it. Come on, you fuck. What the fuck? How could I be fucking this up? She's gonna die. Come on, damn it! Come on, you fuck! Come on, you fuck! This part to s why do you keep fucking it up? I don't remember fucking this part up so fucking much. I'm gonna break my fucking controller. What the fuck? Do I need to even do this now? Shit! Knock it back and forth. Fuck! Push, you ass! You just roy- Ah! Oh! She's gonna die. Come on, damn it! Am I even doing it right? <sighs> Shit. I wasn't doing it right. For Red and Evil One, you bitch. Come on, Shiva. Ha, <laughs> I had to the spin human it around. Require judgment. You're going to judge us? You get all your ideas from comic book villains? Or the Bible? <laughs> As you can see, this is supposed to represent hell, or kind of like in episode 3 when they're on that fiery moon base. Checkpoint! Killed him. I mean, I could I could block updates, but I'd have to be some kind of lead hacks or. These balls are in magma. It's gotta hurt. Find us.
Ah, shit! I forgot how close that was. That would've been really bad. Oh, wow, that's dangerous. Keep your hand on the controller. He is a DLC character in this game. Hey, look, we saw the sunlight. Uh, sun, <laughs> sunrise. Just like in RE4. It's over. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he's dead. Permanently. They're not gonna bring him back. More and more, I find myself wondering if it's all worth fighting for. For a future without fear? Yeah, it's worth yep. it. Yep. Very good message to say. You little shits! Dumb cats. That was Resident Evil 5. There's DLC I will do. About the game overall. Too short, not enough content. Way too much microtransaction at the end there. Honestly, people were expecting Resident Evil 4 level. The set pieces weren't as epic. The bosses, well, some were kind of epic, but not quite as impressive as some in Resident Evil 4. Damn it, cat! I like this cutscene here. There's the credit sequence. And the original trailers, like I said, showed off more of R and RE4 style. And it, you know, was made 2009, so RE4 blew us away back in 2004, so it wasn't that big of a... It didn't quite blow us away. They didn't really change the gameplay that much, so... But overall, I liked it. Liked it quite a lot. Can't wait for Operation Raccoon City and... Number 6, if they ever... Show a trailer, a real trailer. There's a fake trailer made by some, uh, like old RE RA4 fanboy, or Resident Evil fanboys who didn't, I guess, really like the 5 and 4. Overall, it was an enjoyable experience. And it, even if you don't like the gameplay, play it for the cutscenes. It's a pretty epic story. And it, it sort of wraps up the. Resident Evil storyline. Nathan. And of course the other the Wii games also wrap up the storyline. With uh, other bits such as Code Veronica and you know, so so I suggest for this Halloween you just watch Let's Play of every RE game you can, so you get the whole story. I think Dark Side Chronicles wraps up the storyline of everything. So this in Dark Side Chronicles wraps up the Resident Evil storyline, and six will be a remake, reboot, because there's so many character threads, and you, you fought the Plagas, and you've killed Wesker. Which is satisfying, because if you've played throughout the series, he's quite a Boston. Oh, 
Hopefully, Capcom, no more microtransactions. Give us what's on the fucking disc, like you did in the old school days. Give us a fucking trailer for Resident Evil 6, you bastards. Hope you enjoyed my let's play. My, you know, nasally voice didn't get on your nerves, or me constantly bitching, or my awkward speech, or the fact that you probably have to turn your speakers up way loud, or the weird delay in my audio, which is caused by the way I record. Nassin! Uh. Goddamn cats. Got too many of these little furry fuckers, and they constantly fight. Hey, that sounds familiar to RE4, the music playing right now. I do believe Raccoon or Operation Raccoon City takes is gonna be out this winter, which is relatively close. So maybe I'll do that next year, or RE6, but I don't think it's coming out next year. Maybe it is, who knows. Even if it does, probably not Halloween time. And even if it did, I'd you know, have like a month before, so I can sort of master the game. Depending on what it's like. Ah, dumb cats. And for the cutscene it fucked up, I will show that off. It only fucked up the end. Like most of my Let's Plays, especially the early ones, kind of cutscenes kind of get fucked up because of the Dazzle shittiness. Not the Dazzle, but Fraps' is shittiness. And I've downloaded the newer versions, which relatively run smoothly, except for the odd 20 minute time limit, but I think that's my laptop. And of course, the Phantom updates, even if you're disconnected, it tells you when you're supposed to get one. And if the newer version of Fraps can block that, that'd be great. Or I could figure out a way to turn it off. I don't know how other Let's Players do it, honestly. I've seen, like, Halloween, I've seen his Let's Plays get fucked up. At least parts of it get fucked up because of updates. But he uses his desktop PC, which is probably always on, and the laptop's not. I only have it out when I'm up uh, recording or uploading videos, which is what it's for. Oh, long credit sequence. Oh, I'm running out of shit to blabble on about. I'd say it was a great end to the Resident Evil, the original Resident Evil games. What? Wesker finally dies, and, you know, the fighting for a future without fear puts it all in perspective. Considering the entire, throughout most of the games, it was about fear. I guess people wanted the RE4 5 to be more of a survival horror, less action. Maybe they'll do it with 6. Resident Evil Raccoon, Operation Raccoon City is definitely going to be an action game. That's a lot of companies. Is Tricell on that list? Whoa! Whoops! 360 got dark because I wasn't touching the controller. Capcom, thank you for making such great games. Dead Rising, Resident Evil, Lost Planet, Dino Crisis. Bring it back, you bastards! Yay! S rank. It took me 12 hours. Yeah, I think... Really? Or is that 12 minutes? Is that supposed to be 12 hours? That can't be right. And it, I guess that's... No, 12 minutes. I don't fucking know. Fucking nothing. I think 12 minutes for the fight. And 12. It's supposed to show the how many hours. One death. Yeah, so it doesn't show how many... Hours it took.
Well, that was Resident Evil 5. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out my other Let's Plays if you can.